Let's talk about how to find the Laplace transform of this. Well, we're going to use Q on the Laplace sheet, which I haven't talked about before. But I think if you look at it, it's pretty straightforward. So what is Q on the Laplace sheet? It says the Laplace transform of t to the nth power times some function of t is equal to negative 1 to the nth power and then the nth derivative with respect to s of f of s. So in this case, n is equal to 3. So I'm going to have the Laplace transform of this equal negative 1 to the third power times the third derivative with respect to s of f of s. What is f of s? Well, in this case, f of s is the Laplace transform of delta t minus 3. I'm going to use O in order to solve this. And O has in it a u of t minus a, but because delta t minus 3 is only non-zero at t equals 3, I can multiply it by the unit step function at that point, and it doesn't change the function at all. So I'm going to use this. And when I do that, I find that I, the Laplace transform of delta t minus 3 is e to the negative 3s times whatever the Laplace transform of delta t is. Well, that's just equal to 1. So the Laplace transform of delta t minus 3 is simply e to the negative 3s power. So I'm going to plug that back into my formula. And I take the first derivative. Then I take the second and then finally the third, and I end up that the Laplace transform of t to the third power times delta t minus 3 is 27e to the negative 3s.